look at this wonderful lighting. That's what happens when you decide to film later in the day. So I just came home, and I really didn't have an idea for a video. I mean, I played around with some of the thoughts in my head, and I decided to create this video. Let's just get started, I don't know. So we start off with trees. They're very colorful. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was an art project for third grade. I think we're trying to make it like uh, a Picasso. We're trying to make it Picasso-like. So we had to add a bunch of shapes and at least her outfit matches. And we got this big thing. Uh, shading with trees. I know we were practicing that. And sunset. I think I did pretty well in my sunset. My sunset looks darn good beautiful. The rest though is... Uh... Then we got a math assignment that looked good so I cut it out and I kept it. Parrots. I like them. <laughs> then we move on to this thing which I actually got inspiration from from when I was reading this book and they called it was like a couple and they called each other names of like fruit for some reason. I don't know. I'm called a strawberry. That's what it says over here. And we move on to some graph paper doodles from when I was in class. I really like this one. It's like very uh you know mind-boggling and very like mystical and it's like so confusing. We got this beautiful thing that's uh, triangles. Triangles! What did I say last time? Oh right, triangles. This is actually, I think, uh, oh god, I would forget what it's called. Fractal. Spensky's triangle? Now we're jumping into Pokemon because Pokemon is wonderful. Okay, I drew this thing first, Piplup, because I like penguins, obviously, and choose Pokemon, so... Yeah. My friend, I think, wanted this picture too, but then I kept it. Because I'm not cool. And then we got this thing. I kinda don't know its name. Comment its name if you want to win nothing. Now we got my Spanish project, where we had to draw a monster and label its body parts. Why? I don't know. But beans and a squared plus b squared equals c squared and Tigger decided to be the topic of them. Do 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 hop, hop, hop. If you have never seen this in your life, mm, watch, watch Harry Potter, please. There's this girl in my class that was obsessed with Taylor Swift, and she still is. I don't know why I said that in past tense. She really liked Taylor Swift, so I drew Taylor Swift's cat. Because cats have taken over. That's her drawing. Hold up. That girl, that drawing. I thought I did really well when I was younger, and now I look at it and I'm kind of... No. Then we got this other little girl, where I made her eyes way too big for the wrong color. Other than that, well, her hair is kind of messed up too. And it didn't do lighting or shades or whatever. But it's close enough, right? And my last drawing that you're not gonna get because A, it has an inside joke in it and B, it's from a, an app? A rhythm, it's a rhythm game. If you know what the rhythm game is, you're cool. And let's have a rhythm game battle. I don't know. The only people who are probably gonna get this that are watching is the Violets from Unintended Gaming link in the description and uh natalie from jafar and Lit leo arcade also link in the description you know those girls that were in my video a few weeks ago that were really messed up anyway that's dedicated to them and i'll probably see it hopefully i finish before this season's video but if i don't surprise Alright guys, that was probably a pretty long video and I'm probably not even going to show you all these pictures, but for now that was my art history thing. My history of art drawings? Drawings of the past 
things that I'm trying to draw. I don't know. Alright guys, commit scripts. If you don't know what that means, you, you, you better learn, okay? And goodbye.